What is going on everybody and welcome to part 19 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part, we're going to be going over console commands. And the reason for this is because we need it in order to be able to spawn in our own custom entities from within our custom menu. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Let's create ourselves a brand new Lua file. And let's call this concommands.lua. Open this up and let's go ahead and get started here. Most of this code is going to be copy and pasted from our ammo dispenser spawn function here. Let's just go ahead and get started with that. Just copy that for now. Save it in your clipboard. And let's go ahead and get started with the stuff that isn't copy and paste. So there's a brand new function by entity, which will take in three arguments. The first one being a player. The second one being the command and the third one being the args or the arguments. Let's end that. Now we need to do a little bit of error checking here to make sure that nothing will break. So we need some if statements. So first we want to check if args1, which is just the first argument that is passed in with this command. We want to make sure that this does not equal nil. So if there is no argument1, we don't want to run any of this code that's going to be within this body of code here. But if it is present, so if args1 actually has a value associated with it, let's go ahead and create two variables, local int, and set this equal to ents.create, and this is a built-in command, args1. So what will happen here is it will go ahead and create whatever entity is associated with args1. Next up, we need to go ahead and create the player's eye trace, so local tr equals the PLY, which for the player, which is just the argument being passed in, colon, get I trace. This will just get where the player is looking at. Next up, we want to make sure that this entity itself is valid. We want to make sure that it, was, that it is actually a valid entity. So if somebody were to, let's say, call by underscore entity, which is the name of the command, followed by something like C. Obviously, well, most likely, that will not be associated with an entity, and down, later down the line, it will create some errors that we would rather not have there. So we want to go ahead and check to make sure that if ent colon is valid, then we want to go ahead and run the code. Otherwise, just don't do anything at all. So if this entity itself is valid, let's go ahead and just paste the code now that we copied. There are a few things that we need to change in here, such as this line here. This needs to go away because we already have an entity created up here. And then the self.owner needs to be changed to ent.owner. And self.limit needs to be changed to ent.limit. And the reason for that is because self is currently not associated with any entity. So it'll end up later down the line running into some errors because there's no such thing as self.limit. And there's no such thing as self.owner as far as we know. But we do know for a fact that ent.limit exists because we created it a couple parts ago. Next up, we need this class name variable here. Currently, we do not have it. Let's do local class name is equal to ent, which again is just this entity up here, colon get class. That'll go ahead and grab the class name for us, which for the ammo dispenser will look like this, ammo underscore dispenser. Next up, we need to go ahead and actually add this as a console command. So we do con command dot add, which itself is also a built-in function, and it takes in two arguments. The first one being the command itself, so by underscore entity. Whenever we want to call this command, we just do by underscore entity, followed by any and all arguments that come after it. Next up, the second argument needs to be the function that's going to execute it, and we already created one, and that's just the by entity function up here. We'll go ahead and save that, and now we just need to do one more thing, which is actually include this file in our init.lua file. So include concommand.lua, or concommands.lua. Save that. Let's go into game now and actually test this out. I'm going to do three different tests here. The first one, I'm just going to do a by underscore entity, followed by a real entity class name, which is or ammo underscore dispenser. So we spawn that in, and still does the same exact thing. It gives us five, 5 ammo every time we click it, and still has damage that gets taken when you shoot it or hit it. Next up, 
a fake entity, so by underscore entity C. All it tells us is that it attempted to create an unknown entity type C, which is fine to see as long as it's not a Lua error. Next up, we need by underscore entity. So nothing popped up here, which is a good thing. And we got no errors from anything else, which is also a good thing. So our error checking is successful and we are done. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.